<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Woods Report. So, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to add this to the um, emergency preparedness uh, part, uh, playlist that we have. So we have a, a EMT bag that we're going to go through and see what stuff is in there. This the is going to go in the car. This it. is our first time looking at it, going into the car. That whole bag will go in the car. Yes. It will be okay with the weather and all that? Yeah, it don't it matter. It's real hot or it real It don't cold. matter. It okay. stay in there. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about, because I was looking today on if a person is bleeding out, like how, what can you do? And there's things I didn't know. This could save. This could save somebody's life. It's about helping somebody like that? I know, but this could save. You would just call nine one one and just kind of stay to the side. You would I just let be, somebody bleed out. I wouldn't. I would if be, it was me, if I had blood coming out of my neck, you would just go to the stand to the side. I don't know. Because I would think really, I, Lenore. You don't know what to do. It depends on what it is. That's what we're gonna talk about because today. Think about it. Sometimes people think they do more damage than no. Than you gotta them. stop the bleeding. We, this is why this video is needed. That's this is exactly if why I this see video. You bleeding, I would just be like, Lord, no, Lord, no, no, no. Oh, she bleeding mm -mm, out. Lord, no. come get her. There's a part of me sometimes when emergencies happen where you want saints around, and then there's a part of me I don't want saints around. Because they just be praying. Because they'd be praying. Well, you take, take it and back then to the I'd story like, that my mom said. Remember my mama said when she heard her when you was, Oh yeah, yeah. I said, and I'm waiting on Jesus. Oh my God. I was waiting. On I Jesus. like a blend of both. I like somebody who. <laughs> Knows how to take care Look, of the situation. I was a little girl. And and all I knew. No, no. And why they helping me? They praying. Okay. I like a a, a yeah. Why they banding you up? Yeah. Lord, in Jesus' name, help yeah. me stop this blood. My as goodness. I tighten this up, yes. I pray the blood of Jesus that she yes. stop right now. Oh my okay. God! I hate people that when blood shooting mm. out of my neck, oh, you just oh, 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 let the blood stop. All right, here okay. we go. Lord have mercy. Okay, okay. so all right, here we go. <laughs> all right, so what I look today, I want to just go real quick on mm -hmm. what blood is obviously we all know what blood is we see blood yeah. that comes out of our body oh, right yeah. what does blood do did you know that blood is seven to eight percent of a person's weight did you know that seven to what eight percent of your person's body weight i didn't know that so the blood weighs about seven to eight percent i guess so because when you're giving them so many pints Right, in right. Those bags, but yeah. they can weigh. Yeah, so okay. yeah. Right. And then also, it delivers oxygen to the body from the lungs. So that, if I lose weight, my weight, my blood stays the same same weight, or will it go I down? I don't know. I don't know, Lenore. I don't know That's about all that. That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Would your weight go down? <laughs> Would your blood weight go down? <laughs> So okay. if you lose weight, does your blood lose weight? It must. <laughs> I don't know. If you're 300 yeah, pounds, because it's not as much blood. Yeah, yeah that's it's true. not much blood. Unless that's the reason why when you're getting heavier, it's harder because it's not enough blood. It's harder for the blood to pump through your body. It's more body to put a... <laughs> Too much blood whatever we okay. don't know nothing we just i'm going by what i read Donna, you can text us on that one anything you, you extra you know. adding i don't know That's i just know question i just know what i read and oh, what i saw those who are in the medical field yeah they know all of that, that stuff That's, that's talking a about. question though. okay so it um delivers oxygen to the body from the lungs mm -hmm. eliminating carbon monoxide forms clots to, so they are healthy clots like if you cut yourself, your blood should automatically, it's almost, think of a cartoon. Yeah. It should automatically run to that area and kind of clot up so that you don't bleed out. So it's that's oh, a healthy clot. Yeah, that's a healthy clot. you really don't think a clot is good. Yeah. And then it transforms cells that might fight infections and disease, okay. which is good. Delivers waste products to the kidney and the liver, which is good. Uh -huh. And helps regulate your body temperature. I didn't know that. That's you know, all that the things one, that the blood does. That was one um chemo mm -hmm. that i didn't take what and this lets people know when a doc when you go to a doctor and they give you their advice mm -hmm. their expertise because that's their field mm -hmm. you have the option to still say no oh she wanted to give you a chemo for blood it was a key well it was each anything you put in your body that's like that strong you know what's the side effects what's right, the side right, effects right. Well, this may hurt. All them little commercials you see with them different medicines. Yeah. Well, it may cause blindness. It may cause hearing right. problems. Well, the one for the this particular one I said no to, 
it was gonna call it could cause blood clots, oh, the bad ones. Okay. It would mess up my blood, and that was the side effect. And you told her you didn't. And want I it. said no. Okay. No. And right. I'm grateful. You know, thank. See, I'm I'm living and breathing right, now. Right. But I said no to that one. So you do have an option. But you said yes to the other chemo. Yeah, I okay. said reluctantly, but I did. Yeah, yeah you have. Sometimes you have to. Yeah, okay, ahead. so there is um, four main components. Mm -hmm. The red blood cells. Okay. That's the thing that, the parts that carry the oxygen to the body temperature. Mm. Then you have your white blood cells. Okay. Those are the ones that fight disease and infection. So, so you've been hearing about that with the COVID so and all that. So you're low on that if you're a sickle cell? White blood cells, oh, yeah. Like, yeah okay. So then, and then there's the clotting um, factors. Okay. Those are the ones I said. And then there's plasma. You all hear about blood plasma. Mm -hmm. That transfers everything throughout the body. Okay. Okay, so... Those are the major parts of blood. The reason why I said that is because if you see somebody bleeding in an emergency, it's important that you stop the bleeding because of all these things I just said, the importance of the blood. Yeah. If they bleed out, they can die. I and I didn't know I was... you're losing all that blood. I was looking at a thing and they was talking about most of the people die because they bled out. They bled out. If somebody would have applied pressure and stopped the blood, they probably would have lived. They didn't die from the accident. They died from the blood that left their body. Now watch Grey's Anatomy. Oh, what happened on Grey's Anatomy? The one, the young, the one of the young doctors, the uh, one with the beard and the glasses, uh -huh. the real young one. Yeah. His patient bled so. The was, one that was dating um, the the mixed girl. No, no. This is the young guy. The he's gay and he's dating an Asian. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I know he, him. He, a, a patient. He must have talked to him, promised him, you know, you're going to live. You know, doctors got to be careful with that. Okay. He died on the table and he bled out so much blood. They couldn't stop it. puddles. Yeah, they couldn't stop it. And they couldn't stop it because they had already opened him up. They was talking about that. They were saying that there's, depending on the the, the way the person is bleeding out, yeah. you're not going to be able to stop it even if a doc, if they couldn't even stop it in the operating room. Oh, that's scary. And then there's, there is some where you can stop it. That's okay. what they would say. There's levels of a person bleeding out. That's what they would say. The level you bleed out, you put a Band-Aid on, right. that's not, you know. Then there's levels where you got to, like, apply it's that pressure. Like, gush, gush. And you got to apply that pressure. Uh -huh. And then there's ones where you got to pack the hole. Wow. And then there's one you got to actually use a tourniquet with. Now, it. I see a lot of those where they tie That's why I'm just, yeah, we're going to talk about stop that. stop it. It's like... It's that's, almost that's like when they when they when they, when they, when they, when they they're taking about. blood from you, yeah, and they got to tie that thing around right your arm to get the blood to rush. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. To close it off, to close it off, so they can get a good a good um um build up the, the, and okay. get that out. Whew. Okay. All right. So we we're not nurses or doctors, guys. No, we so just, we may be saying we something. Just, no, just, we're not saying nothing wrong. We are just not going detail. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how to go detail like the questions you was asking and all that stuff. Like if you if you lose weight. Yeah, I don't know about all that. So, the first thing to do, now, if you take a CPR, this is the same thing they tell you the first thing to do with CPR. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody that's having an issue, mm -hmm. the first thing you do is you go over and you try to help, but you need to call for help if somebody is around. Mm -hmm. So, that's the first thing you do, too, if you see somebody bleeding out. Wow. Call and ask somebody to get 911. So, the same thing. Okay. Call 911. Why get somebody trying to do what? Yeah. currently there. Okay. Well, no, you know, they actually said the first thing is to make sure that you're not in danger. Because if somebody is shot or something, you're not going to run in and try to help them and then you get shot. So they would say mm -hmm. make sure that there's no danger around. And you're thinking about all this. Yeah, you're thinking about that. If somebody got shot and you want to go help them, you're thinking about, I don't want to get shot too. And with the current issues that's going on in the world, this stuff we're talking about is not that far-fetched. They if they're going in the, grocery stores shooting people and stuff, it's they, not that far-fetched. And they did talk about the shooting. One, I think one of the kids, unfortunately, that was a tragic accident. I think one of the kids kind of put the blood. Yeah, she pretended like she was dead. She pretended like she was dead. Who thinks of that? Though? But I'm saying you got a young child to think about. But I'm that. saying think about like what happened in that grocery store. Yeah. You see somebody get shot. And they're bleeding. The first thing you think is to go help, but you're, you're still in immediate danger. So they so said, make would sure. You no, know? you would just have to really kind you of. You got to make sure you're not in danger. Ooh, that's yes. what they're saying. Ooh, okay. Let's say it does happen, and the person is gone or whatever, mm -hmm. or that police come in and shoot them or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then immediately go over and try to help the person that's bleeding out. That's what they're saying. Okay. Make sure you're not in danger before you try to help somebody else. Okay. Then call. 
make sure somebody know that somebody over there is bleeding. Mm -hmm. So you would yell, call, someone call 911, mm -hmm. let everybody, make noise, let everybody know it's somebody right here that's having an issue. Okay. It can even be you, they said, that's bleeding out. You can you can administer help on yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Wow. So then the next thing they said to do is check for life-threatening bleeding. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of times a person can bleed, you can tell if it's life-threatening if you're seeing a whole bunch of blood. Yeah, how are you going to stop that though? We're going to talk about it. But if you see a whole bunch of blood coming out. Some people panic when they see blood. That's true. That's, that's, that's true. a hard thing to just, right. this is only if it's out like that. You're is, like, you're in shock. This is if you can help. Nobody's saying that you're going to I know, I know. burn in hell if you don't. No. This is if you can. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Then check to see. If you have gloves, mm -hmm. obviously wear gloves. And again, oh, it's the gloves. same. Well, we have gloves in our EMT. No, bag. no, if you're in the store. Right, 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 right. right. You're just not going to have no gloves. But you still, it's the same thing with CPR. You yeah, make the decision yeah. on whether and you, you want to help the them. Mouth, that's you all do, you. That's all you making that. Oh. Some people don't think about stuff Ooh. like that, about you know, if that person is sick or whatever, they just want to help the person. And then some people think, I don't know oh, if that person, you don't know, you don't know. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. This is if you decide to help, mm -hmm. this is what you do. And like I said before, some people are afraid to because they feel like they may cause more damage. Right, right. So if it's somebody that knows me, mm -hmm. like you know me, mm -hmm. don't be trying to find no gloves or nothing. <laughs> you need to help me. <laughs> You know, don't be like, Kim said, I, I need my gloves. I don't know what she said. I don't know. No, you know me. Oh, so don't be, you don't act like you don't know me. Okay. You know me. Okay. Stop the bleeding. Oh, so, all right. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> oh, so make sure that the area is safe. Call for help. Check for life-threatening bleeding. Mm -hmm. Look and see if there's an exit wound or something. Like if I was shot, see if there's an exit wound. Because you got to clock. You got to do from. both. So, like, if you're doing the top one and then there's blood coming out the back, you got to check to see if you got all that, the that, wounds. That bullet went through or yeah. that cut. Okay. So, check for exit wounds mm. or anything like that. Nobody wants this to happen, Lenore. This is just for a case of emergency. Oh, all right. Okay. Direct pressure. Now, you said that one. Everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Even an idiot knows. Ooh. Direct pressure. If you don't know nothing else. Just hold Just on to it until one comes. Hold the hole so no more of the blood is coming out. Hold on there, And they say you can rip the person's clothes and other air. And Take, use it to, use to, that to okay. hold it down. Okay. Don't just be using your hand and blood shooting all through your hand and stuff. <laughs> So people, you know how people would put their hand oh under another hole. And, yes. <laughs> and the person got on eight sweaters. Just take one of the sweaters off. <laughs> and help pack the hole up. You're not up. thinking about that at the time. I got on ten, ten, <laughs> I got on ten shirts, and you try to hold it with your hand, and blood coming all You're out. You're not thinking about ripping Take one. I don't even care if my bra is short. Take my shirt off. <laughs> use my shirt to hold it down. I want to live. I don't care about oh all that God. other stuff. Oh. Right, same thing with CPR. People like I don't want to lift their shirt up and expose them. Don't nobody care about that if they dying. Oh, okay. You can take their shirt off Some and people, expose them to get to whatever I, you need to. I'm not going to be mad. Some people just don't want. They just, it, it's really sad. Nobody's going to say that they was dying and you say they life. Unless they're an idiot. Some people are not that. You really have a lot of faith in our, our society. But it don't you? matter. You say they life. Even if they cut you out and say, I can't believe you took my bra off in front of everybody. No, I'm saying some people don't even want it because of. <laughs> Diseases and COVID. And oh, the hell! I know what you're saying. I ain't touching her. I know, I know. You know, but that's fine if you feel like that. Nobody's saying you have to. It's nine one one and yeah. keep on moving. But I'm saying this is if you want to help. Oh, okay. this is what to do if you want to okay. help, especially a relative or something. Yeah, like in your home. Yeah, too. Okay, yeah. Fill the wound up. That's what they said. So mm -hmm. you fill the wound, and you can use if you. Hopefully, you have like gauze and stuff. But if you don't. You can use clothes and stuff. So the, you want to feel because some, some people don't know if they can feel the so wound. So the main up. thing is to stop the bleeding. Stop if you the can. bleeding. Did okay. you know that May is Stop the Bleeding Month? It's actually Stop the I Bleeding Month. I know that. I know it's actually Stop the Bleeding Month. So well, we should who be. Came up with 
these because they have months like this, so you can teach stuff like this during that month. So stop that's the bleeding what, month. It's stop it's the May, bleeding month. Really. So you can use the person's clothes. Wow. To pull, pull fill in the hole. Mm -hmm. You want to stop it. You want to stop that bleeding mm -hmm. as much as you can. Okay. And they said kind of push it up towards the heart because that's where the blood is coming. So you want to push it up. Push whatever it is you fill in that hole with. Push it up towards the heart because okay. that's where that vessel is. That blood vessel is coming from. All right, so then they talked about that. They talked about, um, again, filling the hole. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a tunica, which is that it's a, we have one in this bag, I'll show you. But if you don't, you can just make a homemade one. That's what you see on TV when you see people rip strips of something mm -hmm. and then they tie it around the arm and then right. they do it real tight. Right. That's what they're doing. They're trying to, they trying they're, to. They're using whatever they can to put pressure to, turn, to, tie it. to stop yeah, it, to from, it from coming in okay, that area. Okay. That's what you want to do. Right. So whatever if it you is, can, on if where you it can, is. Yeah. It, whatever. But if you can't use a shoelace, whatever you can, okay. to try to tie that off mm -hmm. as hard as you can, uh -huh. and then it's still gonna come because it's not gonna, it's not a perfect thing that you're oh, doing. Lord. But it won't be probably going out as fast That's as when it was. You open, pray nine one one gets there right. quick, quick, quick. Right. So do that. And then you got to okay. still hold that pressure on it. That's if it's that type of wound. Right, right, right. And if it's two wounds, remember, check the exit. Now, I did hear if if, if something is cut mm -hmm. off a, a, a limb, don't you put it in a bag? Oh, yeah, that's different than what we're talking about. But, yeah, you want to try to save the limb? Ooh. Yeah, okay. on ice. Yeah. Yeah, you want to put it on that. ice. Okay. But uh, you going way deep. I'm just Ooh, talking about a wound. Look, look, anything can happen when you okay. get shot and stuff. And, and then cut. try to raise the womb up. So if it's in the leg, try to raise the leg. Because you want that oh, blood to come. To come up. Yeah, to okay. you want to keep it from going okay. down. Okay. If it's in the stomach, they said bend the person's knees. So if you shot in the stomach, uh -huh. you want to bend the person's knees. Oh, okay. you ain't gonna be able to raise them up from their stomach. Okay, so bend their knees. Bend their knees to at least put more yeah. Pressure and then if you're doing a, um, the the tie off thing, the mm -hmm. turning, you want to make sure it's not on a joint. So don't tie it right here on a joint. Oh, okay. tie it above it. Okay, three inches above the wound. Why not the joint? I wonder. Because you already got a joint there, and that's not gonna stop it from. That's not gonna add any pressure. Oh, okay. If you got a joint there. Oh, okay. so if you shot here. I'm supposed to go three inches above and tie it off okay. right here, right? Yeah. If you shot here, I don't tie it here. I feel bad if they are really large. Look, hold your arm up. If you, you shot, I have enough thing to if tie. If you shot here, I don't tie it on your joint. Right. I tie it above the okay. joint. They said. Okay. Yeah, so that's what they said for doing that. Okay. So did that teach you anything about if I anything? Mean, I kind of knew that. Okay. It's just if I do it. If you do it, I'm saying Sometimes if you do you it. Sometimes you can learn. And the sad thing about it, we all take these classes. Mm -hmm. What's the, the CPR? Yeah, but I said you when you was choking. I didn't think you I was sure going to remember. But the first time you did it, it hurt. I didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. And then I went more other yeah, Because I was, uh, while I was choking. Right, right, right. I right. was saying, oh. Which means you weren't choking because you was, was able to talk. <laughs> remember they said the person was able to so talk, they're not really choking. You, I don't okay. know what made you go way down there. But we tried it. But then I did get it the right you way. You did get it the right way, and it came up. Okay. So here is our EMT bag, and we are going to go. This is the first time I've ever opened this up. Okay. So I, y'all seeing it the same time I'm seeing it. I got it on Amazon. It's the EMT. Did somebody say something? Um, it's the EMT. Oh, is there anything? Oh, Donna cracking on us. Oh, Donna, what's so saying? funny, no matter what you discuss them. With Donna. Know, which right Donna's? Donna. Oh, Donna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is an EMT. Wait, no, it's here. Everybody relax and calm down. <laughs> okay. So, we have our bag in the car. So, this. Okay. So, if emergency breaks out and we decide we want to help, I'm running to get this who, bag. Who's, who's, who makes the decision that all the items in there, when you purchase that bag? This is from, this is definitely, this is. Is that like a standard? Yeah. This is EMT um, items. Yes. That, you know, yes. they all would look and go, yeah, those are what you would need. Yeah, this is what, this is designed okay. from, from medics. Okay. So it's, it's definitely, oh, I, I like how it has pockets. Do they have that's any? empty. They don't because have. Because you can add your own stuff, which I'm going to add some stuff in here too. Okay. Things that I, I mean, that the I color, have. The color alone is, is. You know somebody mean business if they show up. You're going to find that in the car. Okay, so this is our first time going through it. Keep in mind all the stuff I talked about. This is an emergency bag. You know what everything is? Ice pack. No, I'm going, this is the first time I'm opening it. I mean, remember? When, when you ordered it though, did it tell you what was in it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay. It did. 
Okay, see, so here's the first aid instructions. It's good to have probably read that prior to the problem. That's what we'll do. It's hard to do things when you're in a panic Okay, so mode. it looks like here they got ice bags, okay. which is good. Because you do put ice on it. You okay. Could, you could put ice on a, on a um, wound. And that's what, that, that was another question I think we had talked about. When do you apply heat? When do you apply cool? Okay, this you know, is... Like muscle problem. Oh, this is a first aid blanket. Oh, so you do... They said you're supposed to cover the person with a blanket to help so they don't get cold or whatever. But then why would you use an ice pack? We got to look that up. Yeah, see. Look that up on your thing. Do you do... Do you do... Oh, I do it on mine. Do you do... Um, we learning just like y'all. Some of y'all may already know the answer. If a person is bleeding, do you apply ice pack or heating pad? According to UAMS Health, if the injury includes open wounds or cuts, avoid heat because it promotes more bleeding. Cold, cold is good for an injury oh, or inflammation it where it tissues it are stop. damaged. Yeah. It helps relieve pain by numbing the affected area and reduces swelling, inflammation, and bleeding. So cold is good. That's why they got cold packs in here. So there, that answers that question, right? Mm -hmm. So cold helps. Okay. This is bandage. Okay. Remember I said about packing, packing? Mm -hmm. So you're going to probably be using all of this stuff. An abdominal pad, if somebody gets in the stomach. Um, these are all abdominal. This is a bunch of abdominal pads. Wow. You got to pack it. That's what they were saying. That's the most important thing is to pack that thing up. Mm -hmm. Sterile gauze. That's up here. Mm -hmm. um, what's this? iPad. What if somebody gets shot like in the eye or something? Isn't that something? So you don't want to think about stuff like this, but it can happen, Lenore. Womb dressing. Mm -hmm. So these are all like gauzes and womb dressings mm -hmm. and um, sterile pads. So we know what all this stuff is. What's that? So I can put it back in here. So I'm going to put this back in here. I don't want to mess up my little bag. It'd be our thing. We leave some on the table. <laughs> it's the thing that you really need. <laughs> By showing y'all yeah. the thing on here. Yeah, where is that home? Oh, no. I'm bleeding out. Okay. okay, what's this? This is first a sterile package. What is this? Open that up. Band-Aids? Oh, maybe that's Band-Aids. You think so? Yeah, this looks like Band-Aids. That's why we're going through this, y'all, because we don't want to be on the scene. You laying there bleeding, and I'm like this. Trying okay, to let me see. What is this? Oh, uh, Kim said, I don't want to do that. This is used for when your nose get cut. These are gloves. Remember, I said gloves. Oh yeah, these oh, are gloves. Okay, okay. Those are gloves. So if you using them, you gonna have to restock it. This looks like one of those pins the doctors use. Ooh, for what? A light? Mm -hmm. That's a light, isn't it? Like a flash. Pupil, light. pupil get yeah to look in your eyes. Nah, I ain't gonna know all that. These little band-aids, I guess. Those are band-aids. Okay. Different okay. sizes. This is a pupil guard thing. So I can what I know to do that. I know the doctor does that when I'm at his They want to look and office. see if you still... If, pupil, if they're red or something. Yeah, that's what that is. Colored or... Okay. Let me see. Y'all can watch me open this up. Okay, bandage, I'm sure. That's yeah. a bandage. Uh -huh. More gauze. Mm -hmm. um, elastic bandage. These are elastic bandages. What is this? So a lot of band-aids and what is this thing? Is this a tunic? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is a tunic. When you tie to stop the bleeding. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is. Because we don't want to be in an emergency and not know what to do. We probably need to do a one. No. Is yes, it is. To tie to tie that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if they arm is bigger than this, they just gonna have to bleed out. Wait a minute. Is that for that? Is this for purposely for this though? Yeah, this is the cut to cut it off. But that ain't doing. And you just pull like no, that. No, I'm a pull. Oh. You see? You see that? Yeah. If I keep going, mm -hmm. you'll know. Right. All right. So we know how to do that. See, I want to learn how. I don't want to be on the scene going, "What is this?" And look at the direction. No, nah, I want to know what's <laughs> in my bag, man. Yeah. All right, so that's what that is. Okay. So that's what I said about tying it off. Right. But if you don't have one of these, just tear somebody. Yeah, or do a what belt, they do. A nice belt. belt, belt buck, you know, a belt, a shoelace, something. Phone cord, you think? Whatever you can get that's going to tie up. And you can put that back in for me. Okay. Um, so we got all of this. They got in here, they got this thing. This is... um. Oh, this is a thing to um um listen to your um uh, what is it your heart is this a thing to listen step is this a um y'all I'm not a medical well, person not the CPR stuff no no this listens to your um 
your heart, right? This. Check your vitals. Oh, dang, that's a serious, uh... Yeah. Who gonna do all that? I gotta put this together, because I can't be putting it together on the scene. You bought one, though. I have one of these. So that one you put together. But mine is in the house. This gonna be in the car. Oh. Yeah, this is a listen, see? The listen to your, um, your heart and all that. Who does this? This is an emergency kit, Lenore. Yeah, nobody wants, I mean, seriously, having that in the car, you seriously won't be, oh, let me pull out the, I want to see if your heart is beating. Uh, okay, if the person is dead. They you, said there's another way to check their pulse. Yeah, you can check the like pulse your fingers. Yeah, yeah, you can do that certain too. spot, okay. But you look more. I want to pull that out. Because <laughs> you want to look professional. When somebody dying, you really don't care how you look. Or you know what? <laughs> you know what? You're not thinking somebody that's a um, a nurse could use this. A doctor, like if we you know how people say, is there a doctor in the house? And the doctor be like, he's there, and then I'll be like, I got I got an EMT kit. You know what I'm saying? You can at least help exactly somebody like, like that. If you got one, even that, though I'm a You know doctor. what? That's not a bad thought, y'all. Uh -huh. Get one of these. You may not feel comfortable using it, uh -huh. but somebody else might. You see what I'm saying? Okay. They, you got the equipment that they can need. Yeah, that's true. They may not be traveling around a doctor bag, but remember, I got one. Remember the doctor used to do the house calls? Yeah. yeah. Come to the house? Yeah. That's so, how my mom was born. I think it was this? one of those um, the home Tape. ladies. Medical tape. Oh, medical tape. Medical what do you call tape. the ladies that come to the house when you uh, have a nurse? Baby? A nurse? No, it's, a, it's another name. Midwife. Midwife. Yeah. Oh, to have a baby. My mom. These are alcohol pads. I guess you need to clean. You know, in case something happens or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you have a lot of that in there. Cause that's truly what you need to do. What is this? Um, I don't know what this is. Y'all, y'all can't be giving people stuff. I gotta see what this is. And then is. you need to know what it is because you may be using it wrong. You may try to open up something. Aid. Can you read that? I got on glasses and I can't even read that. What does that say? You need to know what you got in there. Uh, first aid, antibiotic, ointment. Okay, so that's ointment. Bacteria. Ba Prep pants. Bacin. We had these prep pads mm -hmm. when Mama had that Zinc. bed sore. Oh, these are the different um, these, ingredients inside. These was those prep pads we had when Mama had that bed sore. Oh yeah, she should. You put that we on. We learned a you, lot too when my Mama had her bed before sore. Before you put the um, dressing on them. My mom had a very bad. Yeah, these are very prep pads. severe bed sore. Prep After pads. she came out of the um, intensive care, she had a bed sore. You know, back then in the, the COVID in twenty twenty, they were afraid to touch you. Right. They were so still trying to figure out this COVID, sore. so they never turned her. And she developed, I'm thinking, probably the worst that I've seen. Because you usually see bed, store, bed sores that kind of surface. And we learned how to do a lot of the nursing care for her then. This is that thing that's supposed to take a splinter out. Here. You take a splinter out of your hand oh, or yeah. whatever. And okay, they so use the, the tweezers to pull it. To pull it out. So we got to go. surface because sometimes it'd be so deep. You may have to, you, I think you're ready. You got to cut in there a little bit. You got to dig in there. You got to dig around it. And then you have that. to put pressure to push it up. And then, and then grab it. To get tweezers it out. to pull it out. Oh, I hate getting the splinter. Getting the splinter. So Ooh, what we're going to do with this, we're going to go add in a this. paper cut. We're gonna Why go is the paper cut so bad, girl? Think about it. A paper cut is worse than getting stabbed. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what it is about a paper cut. A paper cut. I I rather Oof. get stabbed sometime in a paper cut. I don't cut. even know. I just can't tell. Okay, okay, so that was our EMT bag. We went through it really quick. Mm -hmm. But I think you should have one. Does, Every, that, does that belong in it? What's that bag right no, there? No, that's mine. That's why I said I pulled this by mistake. Oh, okay. This is one of those things I bought. I have stuff in my own home. Um pharmacy okay this is those things you listen to people's ears or you look in their ear not listen you look in their ear to see if they have an infection oh i ordered that myself oh yeah my doctors use that see mm -hmm. i have okay. this i That's have how she found out i had um i have everything y'all uh, walking pneumonia i have you know when that kevin samuels guy passed away right yeah the lady that was with him she was asking for a defibrillator she was trying to revive him, Ooh. and she said it, she was trying to see if the apartment had a defibrillator, his apartment complex. That's something that if you have the money, you should have in your own house. Really? Yeah. Is that you the said, thing where you 
you shock the heart. Ooh. So that's something you can get too. Ooh. If you get, if you had the money, I would have one. It's so funny that she was asking for one. See, if he mm -hmm. had one, she would have revived him. Maybe we don't know. She had. She was looking. Did they, for, did they confirm how he died? A heart attack or something. Oh. But she was looking for one. You oh, see yeah. that? If yeah. she would have had, if he would have had one in his apartment, mm -hmm. she could have used it on him. Oh. Not saying that that would have saved him, but right. I mean, a anything that you know you any, can get, any kind of chance you can get. Um, so that that is our uh, part of the Stop the Bleeding mm -hmm. Month. May is Stop the Bleeding Month, mm -hmm. and that was part I don't of know our. Didn't know that, but I, but we are uh, the people that's part of the Woods Report. No, okay, the Woods family know everything. See, no. that's why y'all yeah, part of the Woods say Report. That. We're trying to. Well, you subscribe. Increase our knowledge. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Make sure you comment down below. Make mm -hmm. sure you like our videos. Okay. We'll share more stuff. You know stuff. So that when things happen, if, mm -hmm. if something happens, you can say you learned that on the Woods Report. Mm -hmm. You see that? There we go. And then people will start being like, you know, what can I learn from the Woods Report? Let me go to the Woods Report and then let them teach me. Not teach you like major teach you, but give you at least the basic. Give basics. you an update about it. Give you a basic and then you go learn more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at least um, make you aware of yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. To go, so, to even do your we own. started off this video by me saying if my if I had bleed, blood coming out of my neck, what would you do? She started off by saying pray. Now we went through a, a whole video. I said 911. No, no. Now we went through a whole video. Now, I got I, blood coming out of my neck. What do you do? I mean, you said stop the bleeding if I can. I'm but already it's... dead now because oh, the time is up. I'm hoping not you. <laughs> I say my last. Let's try one more time. Wishes. Let's try one more time. I got blood. <laughs> she that knew God. God. You. She knew God. That's all that counts. All right. Okay. So now let's try again. Okay. All right. Ready? Scene. Ready? Action. All right. Okay. No, no, and hold on. Okay. Action. I got blood coming out of my neck. What do you do? <laughs> oh, no. I, you know what? I'm not going to do my neck because no. that's so tickle. Do my arm. Okay. Okay. I got. Oh, oh like, ah, oh, my arm. Okay, what's going on? I got oh, blood. Oh, God. The blood is coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you going to do? <laughs> I got to call. I can't just come hold you. I got to call 911. <laughs> you want me to do you? What would you do? I do you. you I'm dead. Out, if she got, if it's not her, you gonna, I'm dead. You gonna if, try I'm, to, if I'm coming in the house and you bleed, at least I can help. You're going to try to help me first without calling 911. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, go I ahead. walk oh, in. Oh, Kim. Kim, I'm bleeding. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm Anybody, if nobody around, okay, I got to call 911. Hold okay. on. Keep your arm oh, on there. Keep your arm on there. 911. Put them on. I'm going to call 911. I'm going to put it on, on oh. um, speaker. 911, oh. this case of emergency. Oh. Yes. My oh. God. Be quiet. <laughs> You, right, so. I don't have my bag with me. But if I have my bag with me, I'll be using all this stuff in the bag. But the bag gonna be in the car. You said you putting that in the car. I'm saying I'm walking in the house. You know the bag is if we drive up on somebody. The the <laughs> <laughs> you you said it's in the car. <laughs> you can't help your family. Oh you my god! Do it. Oh my lord! Well, I see 
see what you're doing. That's yes. Okay. If, you, if I had a bag, I'll use it. If not, I'm trying to help you. Okay. So apply pressure. Okay. Check to see to if it's an exit wound. Yeah. The, the first thing is to try to stop the bleeding. Okay, okay. See if there's any exit wounds or anything. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. So then I'm gonna try to tie I'm gonna try to do something. I'm to about do, okay. something to tie this uh -huh. so that it can tie try to slow the bleeding. Try to down. slow it down. Okay. If it's a hole, I'm gonna try to pack it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna push it up towards your heart. I'm uh -huh. gonna try to get well, that you know blood. I'm gonna be you know, here's the thing. I'm gonna be a, I'm the worst patient anybody can have. When I do my COVID testing, Kim tell you. Yo, yo, you was bad. Oh, that one lady that did me. I hollered yeah, so loud. Yeah, she was bad. That I lady was, her. You was getting on I the lady's nerves. I see you up in my eyes. Yeah, she was, she was bad. Who the And you know what? And it's so funny. Because I was getting irritated. She's a nurse and she was getting irritated. She hurt me. But I'm saying, do you see how people like you can make the person get irritated? I know. I'm a loud. I'm trying person. to help and you you have, you stopping me from helping. I don't like pain. But you know what? I appreciate this one nurse that was taking out my staples. And they hurt sometimes. She was nice. She was talking to me. She said, "So you went to Hawaii?" She was trying to take see? your mind off. I said, "Well, you we know went what? to see the volcano." That's not a bad idea. And I'm so Hold glad. On. I said, well, "I'm glad we went to Hawaii." You know what? Said, she That's was gone not a before bad I even knew it. So people, if you walk up on somebody and they doing what she was doing, mm -hmm. maybe try to distract them or get them to think of something. If they're else. in a lot of pain and they're hollering and screaming. That's a. She was a good nurse. That's a good nurse. Maybe I would that. tell you to talk to the. Opera. I would say here. Talk to the nine one one lady. Nine one one lady, uh, are you coming? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, okay. that's what we'll do. Okay, and then yeah. I can concentrate on this. Yeah, don't tell our address. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so then we can okay. turn our address all on on YouTube. And you tear my shirt. Okay, while we and I would tear the shirt, okay. and I would try to sign this off, and then you I would pack. I would pack. I I would pack the it out of shape. I would pack the wound. Okay. The main thing is apply pressure, even oh. if I have to lean on it. I want to stop so, that bleeding. Aside from that kind of uh, bleeding. Oh, I forgot. The first thing was to make sure I'm not in danger. Well, I forgot you know, we're that. We're in the house. We're in the house. The person could still be in the house. Oh, you thinking I got cut that way? or No cut? shot. Oh, I don't if know. If the person is still in the house, I'm trying to get my gun so I can shoot them. I ain't trying to. I know oh, you so bleed. You, you got to. No, no. Oh. You got to apply your own pressure. Okay. Stop the bleeding. While you go and checking out who, yeah. how I got injured. Yes. Okay. Because they were saying that um, in the army or whatever, they pull the people out of danger mm -hmm. and then the person has to take care of themselves. Oh, wow. Because the other guys are still shooting. So you get your thing out and you tie yourself up. You try to hold it down. Uh -huh. You you trying to make sure you stop the bleeding as much as you oh, can before wow, you pass wow, out. Right? Wow. Okay. Oh, it's a lot, y'all. But this is just basic, y'all. Okay. Just in case this will save your life mm -hmm. or save somebody else's life, you never know. Okay. Somebody might see this and be like, I never in my wildest dreams will remember that what they no. said. But because I saw that, I knew. You know, you don't realize how many people I was looking at the thing don't even know the basic thing of applying pressure. Really? And trying to stop that bleeding. Stop the bleeding. And a lot of people die because just because the per out. they bled out. Yeah. Because the person didn't even know it. The, sitting there next to him just kind of calming them. And, and the person wow. was bleeding out. They didn't oh, even think about stopping that see. bleeding. So, okay. okay. So hopefully this will save y'all life. Y'all learn something new. <clears throat> I don't okay. know what to do if you with somebody that's ye like her that's that's yelling or whatever. Ooh. Other than try to distract them, like you said that nurse did. Oh, that's wow. the only other thing I could think of. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you would have to right. be really creative. And that, that's the only thing it. I could think of. Okay. All right, guys. So um, that was our EMT bag. Mm -hmm. That was our stop the bleeding. That mm -hmm. was our trying to teach you what to do. Just in the case. basics. The basics. Mm -hmm. Go on your own. Learn on your own. Watch stories or read books mm -hmm. and learn more about blood and how it moves and all the things that it can happen in mm -hmm. the different stages. There's even different ways to even do the um that the tie thing I was saying the tum tum Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All right guys, so that was another, another Woods report. report. See you later.